hey i was wondering do you feel like you don't have time to read your bible hello let me say this you will never have time for god if you never make time for god so look i've been blessed with a free schedule and a mother who loves me transparency i'm unemployed and i live with my mom to be honest everybody's life or they schedule don't look like mine's and mine's didn't always look like this when i was sitting around juggling a lot of things on my plate like work school hobbies all of these things i found it hard to sit down and just read my bible so one day i came up with an idea and i said instead of listening to music i got this app up here on my phone and pretty much there's an audio feature on there where the Bible will read itself to you. The Bible already does that, but there's someone who's put their voice in there and you can allow him to read you the Bible. Fast forward, pretty much I'll be in a car and I catch myself wanting to click on one of my playlists on SoundCloud, want to go listen to this secular music. And I said instead, I'll let the Bible play. I'll be in the shower. I'll let the Bible play. <laughs> Have a little convert with God. I'd be at my 12 hour shift for Amazon. I let the Bible play. I say all of this because it's very hard to keep your faith in a world where on a daily basis, you listen to systems, podcasts, TV shows, movies, secular tainted music that all incite lawlessness. They all incite you to have the spirit of the world instead of the spirit of Christ. So then, Romans 10, 17 says, Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So let the Bible play. Instead of listening to something in the background that you use as background music because you're doing something else, something else has your focus, Sit down and say, okay, I'm going to drive and, and go wherever I'm going to go, but I'm going to let God minister unto me what he wants to minister. I'm going to be working, but I'm going to have God in my ear and bring God in my job. I'm not going to go in here alone. I'm not going to think I walk by myself, but I'm going to know that my God walks before me. His favorite walks with me, and there's never been a day he's changed in my entire life because he's always been with me. So break that lie. That is, you don't have time for the Bible. Or tell yourself the truth that you never make time for the Bible. I appreciate you. I. Right.